I just got back from Ralph Amania. Congratulations. I know Ralph Amania. I know Ralph. I know everyone who listens to the show is stricken with Ralph Amania. Yeah. <laughs> Can't get enough Ralph. Uh, surprisingly, from he, from he the did Ralph not Amania. technically get swatted, right? No, Ralph got served a couple he times. Got, <laughs> like served legal papers. <laughs> yeah, yeah, all the all the men, all the old men of the women Ralph has impregnated yeah. want uh, want legal proof that they have small dicks. So they continue to serve Ralph with proof of yeah. we've we've got a small dick. Just want you to know that uh, we for sure have a small dick. Do you have details of any of what he was served or is that all private? I'm sure it's all just like Retarded yeah. horse shit. Is any of it coming from, uh, well, I'm sure some of it's coming from his, the family of his <laughs> child, his <laughs> first child. And I know he's been fighting. They're teaming with, up. Well, he's been fighting with Pantsu's family, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So do you know, uh, were they involved at all, or is that all? I don't know. All I know is know. that guy, like, sold all of his shirts online and has destroyed his wrestling belt. Did he sell the shirt somewhere, like, to, On like, eBay. haters? Yeah. How much was he selling them for? He got up to like four grand. I mean, it's way in the way in the felony level. So <laughs> I, don't, I, don't I said, I was like, that is really look. I don't care what like what problems you have with a guy. You don't just steal his shit. Like that was fucking over the line, man. That's a new. That's a new line. That's a new game they're playing, and we're yeah, stealing I shit and they selling stole it on eBay. His, uh, shirts and his wrestling belt. I don't care how much you and hate like, Ralph. Smashed it up. That's not manly. That is a uh, womanly behavior. That's your girlfriend taking all your shit and breaking it and throwing it on yeah. the lawn. Yeah, it's weird seeing men don't break other men's shit. I'm gonna say it's weird seeing like uh, I know what's wrong with boomers. Yeah, like I know it mm. backwards and forwards. I'm like, I know their nature. I know what they're going to say. I know where they're going to fit, let you down. And that's every which way. Yeah. Uh, but it's weird seeing Gen X, um, uh, acting and dysfunction. Yeah. Like it's weird seeing Gen X male dysfunction. They talk like little girls, like, Oh, me so, Oh, me so, so. Like they talk like these men, adult men talk yeah. like Jar Jar Binks to each other. Well, they're and they're like slightly late midlife crises where they're like, I want to be a part of this stupid internet whatever culture yeah. I'm gonna like literally make a career out of the fact that my daughter got knocked up by an internet commentator <laughs> and you're like I don't know man like maybe just don't do that why do you why are you doing that that's the bro? springboard for your new like career and look and, uh, that's cool well you had fun at Ralph Mania I did have fun did you um, tell that poor lady to get raped I was involved in the rape chant. Did you yell? Yeah. Did you help with the chant? Well, hold on. Let me bring up. I'll bring up her Who tweet. Started hold the on. Chant? Who uh, started the chant? It was very. Or first of all, it was very organic. <laughs> it, was it just, just sort of came. You know, it just felt right at the time. <laughs> you see a woman and you want to tell her to get raped. It just happened organically. Well, okay. Yeah. Here was. This is the talk of the uh, the indie wrestling. Two hundred and seventy four quote tweets. So all of <laughs> I'm wrestling. Doing those. All of wrestling is talking about <laughs> Ralph mania right now <laughs> and not in the way that, like wow what an incredible promotion that's not the discussion unfortunately <laughs> like, you know, Ralph really blew the lid off indie wrestling and it'll never be the same this is the the number one story from Ralph mania <laughs> sadly so um are you a wrestling fan now currently I, were whatever. you a wrestling fan in the day back when you were a kid yeah I mean we all watched uh, yeah WCW. I was a fan as a kid yeah, right of course when it was like WWF, when uh, the Iron Sheik was walking out there, like telling all of America to go fuck yeah, itself, that was fantastic. And people were like threatening to kill him, like, <laughs> and he would have to physically fist fight his way out of arenas. That's fucking fantastic. <laughs> yeah, remember that? I remember my dad having a bunch of Undertaker T-shirts and us trying to give it to this one family we knew who was like hardcore Christian, and they're oh, like, yeah. "We can't wear that. He works for the devil." And we're like, awesome. "Oh man, awesome. you guys are really like buying into this shit." God, I remember yeah. having one friend like that when I was a kid. That was when I first saw Veggie Tales. We yeah. were doing a sleepover. Oh, yeah. The worst. We were doing a sleepover at his house, and he was really religious. But you can only it only bubbled up in like certain ways. Yeah. Uh, they had a grandfather. It was a sleepover, mm. and they had a grandfather clock in the main room. So yeah. I just remember laying there awake all night with the. Oh, you could hear it. The yeah. whole that's terrible. And then he had this like this this twenty four uh, VHS. The set whole of set the, of uh, yeah, nothing else. Veggie Tales. It was like McGee something, and so they put. We're like, let's, let's watch a movie. And he's like, oh yeah, cool. I got. He's going through <laughs> these, and we're like, uh, I've never heard of these. What? 
They're vegetables. They go on adventures. Is this like With Jesus? Is this like Muzzy? Like learn to yeah. s- speak French or something? You, know, you don't have Raiders of the Lost Ark or something good? Yeah, something yeah, good. Goonies. Like uh, uh, greatest story never told. Even yeah, I take back that. To the future. So we put this on, and they're all like really heavy-handed parables about how to. I mean, the, the the vegetables at some points would be on the ark and hanging out with Moses and whatever else. Mm. They would do Bible stories. So here's what uh, Brittany J. 90s Christianity was a trip, I tell you what. <sighs> it's coming back. Someday time, I'll man. tell you about Bible camp. You went to Bible camp? I went to Bible camp two, two summers. Because oh. another, another, and, and surprisingly, there's a lot of wrestling stories, but I remember... Uh, NWO was uh, at Bible like, camp. You had a lot of wrestling at, going on there. That's not a that's, surprise. No, that's the problem. <laughs> Is I remember there was the, the older kids bunk. Like the, the bunks were like by age. So like we were in uh, bunk 12. Yeah. And then bunk 13 was like the kids who were one year older than us. Yeah. And bunk 13, I remember they took all the mattresses off the beds and all the camp counselors had them. I don't know if they were in their underwear or what, but they were just wrestling <laughs> in the fucking bunk. And I remember being I like, mean, of course they I can't wait until next year when I'm in bunk 13 <laughs> and I can wrestle with the boys. There was definitely something going on. That was going, that was, en- that's enough. <laughs> that shouldn't be going on. No, it shouldn't. Okay, here is um, Brittany Jade. So one of the matches was two girls squaring off. Nice. Yeah, well, one of them was hot, black, hot black girl. Um, mm. This was the other one, like stallion. You could yeah. say that. So happy MLK Day, everyone. Happy Martin Luther King Jr. Day, everybody. Did you see that big sculpture of poop that they unveiled? It's very bad. Yes. What? Why is? Why is it bad? Do you think? I mean, it's bad because it, it resembles a. I said it resembles a fucking video game monster. I don't know if you saw that tweet I put no, out. No, what's that? I put out a tweet, which uh, you haven't played uh, Dark Souls, but it looks like one of these like hideous monsters made of an amalgam of human body yeah, parts yeah, crawling yeah. towards you in the middle of the night. All right, here it is. If you haven't, I think this is. Uh, I think this is the end of Martin Luther King Day. This looks like a guy. There, it looks like a guy going, going down, down on, on a, someone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> No matter what <laughs> angle you look at it, it's like something's fucking wrong about it. This looks like a guy eating, holding a big holding poop. Up poop. Yeah. So there's one angle. I, uh, some black lady posted the angle that you're supposed to look at it from. Right. And it's like a picture of Martin Luther King and this lady hugging. I think it's, it's his wife. Oh, but I it's hope. only their arms. Right. So there's no, like they just took. So it's Martin Luther King and a lady like side hugging, but they took off their heads. So it's just. And these, their bodies. It, it's, yeah, it's just these it's disembodied like, hands. It's just like Beetlejuice. And it looks arms. fucking literally like horrifying, like a monster. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's not good. <laughs> I think that's going to be the end of uh, MLK. They're going to change it to L- LMK Day. Who's Let L- me know. Let me know. Yeah. LMK Day. Don't you think that would be... Well, was Brittany Jade wrestling for the rights of black people everywhere? Uh, no, the, no, she was, a, she was a fat, like a muffin top white girl. Mm. She was wrestling for um, M&M's, I think. Okay. <laughs> <They> <laughs> M&M was, Day. She would get tired, <laughs> and then she'd go to the side of the ring, and they'd throw some M&M's out, and she'd <laughs> all right. Gobble them up. I'm not, I disavow all of this because I've seen how angry her supporters are and I don't want to get clipped. <laughs> Things. Okay. So she was wrestling this black girl. You're right. And who's hot. The black girl. She was, the, uh, Brittany wasn't. Okay. Uh, and then disavow. the ref, the ref was like, it, they, they gave the reps, the ref some lip and he was a short guy. So yeah. he said like, fuck you. And he ran back into the back and changed into wrestling gear and then came out and wrestled them both. Okay. So it was like a guy versus two chicks. A guy versus two ladies. Hot. Yeah, it was awesome. Yeah. And then, and by the way, Brittany Jade's told Mike Honcho, who's sitting next to me, uh, he said that she looked like uh, she had Down syndrome. And and she said something like, I'm not going to look like that (laughs) when I fuck your mom or something like that. So first of all, and she flipped him off and he's a veteran. So he's a veteran who served in okay. in Af- Iraq or whatever it was. Uh, Sandy Hellholes, sure. He's part of. He's she one of the veterans that lost yeah. the, to the Taliban. To the so, Taliban. but he sacrificed. He put his life on the line, and for some muffin top fucking pig to come out and say <laughs> yeah. and tell him that he's gonna that she's gonna fuck his mom. Like, what is that? You're saying that was consensual when you're saying to fuck a, Mike Honcho's mom because his I, his mother is a saint. 
She's not gonna <laughs> fuck around with some. She could get better than you, you pig. Okay, you know, so, if so, she's gonna fuck. If my conscious mom's gonna fuck any any woman, it's gonna be the hot black girl that you're wrestling. Not here. well. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying. Who started the rape first? Who started the I'm okay. gonna rape whom first? So my, she said she was gonna have sex with his mother after he said she had Down syndrome. He or might have like said something had about C-section scars too. I don't remember <laughs> what order it was, but but he's a veteran. He was likely suffering from. Right. A PTSD related episode because PTSD, of the wrestling absolutely. bell that Ralph was keeps hitting. Yep. So in the midst <laughs> so of this, then, what happens? Well, then uh, we started chanting rape, rape, rape. Rape, guy, rape, rape. Yeah, when the was guy. It, she says you said rape her. The midget guy. Somebody might have said rape her, but. But you were just saying the rape. En, the entire yeah. audience was chanting In rape, the midst rape, of rape. A submission hold. Is that what they're saying? Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. So she was being held down. And a chant of rape began. Rape, 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 I, rape. I disavow rape. on so many levels. Uh, she's the one that said that she was going <laughs> to rape Mike Honcho's mom first. She said that right when the right I when just, it started. She came out again, flipping I everyone off. No a veteran, a veteran, and my very close personal friend, Mike Honcho. She yeah. flipped him off right in his face and I'm said, just "I'm just getting the facts." Said, "I will fuck your mom," <laughs> basically implying rape. Sure. I, I mean, I guess you can say two wrongs don't make her right. It's worse. It's worse. It's worse what it's she worse did. to insult a veteran. Because first. Well, she put she out, said uh, yeah. she was going to do it. We were telling that other guy she to rape it. her. He's, it's up to him. It's nothing for us to say rape. It's just, that's just freedom of I speech. Just, it's freedom of speech. I'm not saying it's not freedom of speech. It's not. I don't think that's the issue necessarily. It is. It should be. So anyway, then she got on Twitter after she fucking downed some some soft chicken, a whole bag full of soft chicken tacos no, no. and no, peanuts. No. Okay. Like Dumbo, you know, and they throw the peanuts. I in got there, there like, without the Dumbo <laughs> analogy. I did. That's what Dumbo. <laughs> People were doing that. She was wrestling. They would throw peanuts. No. You go. No. <laughs> <laughs> so bad. Okay, and then she tweeted out. My conch, you think he goes to Afghanistan and wants to come back and be told by some fat chick? He, I don't think it is about my. Everything is about. Okay, she insulted my concho. Then you all responded. No, that was unrelated. Unrelated. We were just well, doing then, it because of the jovial atmosphere. Everyone was having fun. So she said things that happened to me during my match tonight in New Jersey. Bitch, come on, New Jersey. Uh, one, a guy screamed, quote, rape her <laughs> while I was in submission by a guy. Well. It's, it's interesting that she uh, specifically mentions who was holding, like if another girl was holding her, would rape chance have been exactly. okay? Exactly, exactly. Mm. That's exactly correct. That's very interesting. Very, very sexist. Very sexist. Very sexist to gender. Uh, you're a, you're a, a coster. <laughs> and then she said things that shouldn't have fucking happened. One, that. Why did you? Kn anyway. So we, that should not have happened. The guy as screamed we, uh, rape her. As we can see, the uh, wrestling community, including uh, some Dude, other wrestlers, so Lady Frost. What promotion? And did they handle it and escort him out? Fuck you, bitch. What are you, somebody gets escorted out because he goes, ah, oh, rape her, right? <laughs> we know you're not going to get raped by that guy. No. What are you thinking? Right. I'm sh and shouldn't you have wrestled him out? You know, wouldn't that make yeah. it more exciting if someone was going to get raped? wrestled off a rapist, yeah, that would be pretty, a pretty thrilling uh, card. We've got the wife beaters and the rapists uh, wrestle Ralph Mania too. <laughs> well, it just seems that there there is a indie wrestling community that is total all about simps. decorum and uh, I don't know what you want to call it, uh, manners. And, Nothing I can legally say. Yeah. I mean, uh, f's. I mean, I had tweeted. I guess you know. I'm like, you agreed to be a Ralph Mania. What did you think was going to happen? And she has been saying, "Well, we oh, didn't we know were. <laughs> it was Ralph Mania. We were tricked into t being told it was Sunset <laughs> Wrestling, and we weren't booked by Ethan Ralph. We were booked by a uh, Michael Cisco." And I'm like. <laughs> Like, all right, well, I don't know, man. Just roll with the punches. Like, what are you going to do? But this has become uh, one of the biggest stories in indie wrestling. <laughs> right? It's literally, 
I think there's so like Ralph Amani is a huge success. I mean, by my, I, by there my does need to be more Ralph, Ralph Amania, obviously. I didn't know you couldn't scream rape her at a wrestling <laughs> event because they had a guy. The next wrestling match, yeah. I, sh- I mean, I, I don't even know how to describe this. Like, and stay on YouTube. This guy came out in a. He was he, head shaved down the middle, mm. uh, like hair around the side. Okay. Uh, Jewish Reverse prayer Mohawk shawl. Kind of like, thing? no, yeah. like uh, like a rabbi. Okay. Ezekiel, like, Lebenstein was he, that he had on the back. Blue, no. like, oh, no, I swear to God, this is true. I swear to <laughs> he, God, he this is true. He was like a Ralph setup. Like, he's just like a Jewish wrestler. My jaw dropped. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> what is? It was like the Iron Sheik, but yeah. the Israel, like, the Israel. Rabbi, or whatever. Um, so that was the level. I mean, that was the level That's of like absurdity, yeah, absurdness that everyone was operating on. Everyone should be going nuts. These broads are just like they ruin. They ruin everything. They're just there to titillate and then plug their only yeah. fans. And they, what are you fucking? Well, I give think me a fucking break. I think if Alpha Mania establishes itself to the place where indie wrestling goes to get raped. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah, where indie wrestling goes to get <laughs> raped. Ralph of Mania 2024. Uh, I, I don't know. It's been fascinating. It's a lot of blue check marks. I mean, now that doesn't, well, now mean, it doesn't mean anything. But yeah. Some of these people are like legitimate verified wrestlers and they're going, I cannot believe that in the year of our Lord 2023, someone this would, would shout, would happen and you, you were tricked by an alt right. Uh, psychopath into yeah. There's been you know a lot what? of drama. And the chance for the Jewish guy weren't even that bad, considering. Yeah, they're like well, it, it could have been how bad they could. But they been. weren't that bad. I thought it was. I was like, oh man, this, this is <laughs> this is gonna be really wild. And they weren't. They yeah. were just like enjoying the like the performance so much of the of the guy who's. I don't even know if he's Jewish or not, but he was like. So what'd you get? Like an hour of wrestling, and then was no, it was like two two hours. That's pretty good. Two hours of wrestling. Ralph getting served was pretty wild. Yeah. Are there drinks or there refreshments? American Legion, so it's like two bucks a beer. That's beautiful. Have you ever, oh, been, have you ever been gone drinking? Yeah, American years Legion? ago. Years ago. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Was it just an old guy behind the bar? Yeah. That's beautiful. And then somebody pulled the ultimate, ultimate prank on Ralph. Um, they sent him, uh, they sent him some meat with a DoorDash. Yeah, I think I know the guy who uh, keeps pulling those pranks. Oh, Vito. Ooh. Yeah, they they keep doing. They, not, oh, never have I seen such cruelty. They do this Prankery. prank where they send DoorDash to your house and then you throw it out and they go, "Got him!" Oh man. Yeah, Ralph the, Sater's the in whole, that, that clever. The whole audience was being bowled over as the guy <laughs> came over and dropped the DoorDash. What do you mean, like by, meat, like raw meat, like p- beautifully packaged. Whole foods, del- no, un- like uncooked ribs or something. Oof! Oh, because Ralph's be. a pig. Is that the joke? Maybe. Well, I'm probably even reading even too far into joke. it. I don't it's even think they're that clever. Deal with this meat yeah. that you've got. All anyway. right, I guess we'll um, should have cooked it up. Here's uh, here's what I've got for you today. Well, hopefully Amber Jade or whatever her fucking name is. Uh, hopefully she loses about twenty or fifteen pounds. 20 or, 20 or 30 I was pounds. Say, but what sure. are you going to say? Hopefully she gets over this uh, horrible injustice and maybe makes <laughs> makes peace and returns for Ralph Amania. Again, uh, they might, they're saying they yeah. might do another wrestling promotion this year. We'll see. Yeah, I don't know. 